Should we start this? Sure. Why not? Good morning, everybody. Hi. Hello. All right. Welcome. Come on in. Hopefully everyone is uh, highly caffeinated. Some of us landed late last night. Uh, some of us are still trying to land, so uh, hopefully we'll see everybody later today. But uh, I'm Mike Rambetsy. I'm Patrick Cable. And uh, this is Lisa19. Welcome. So this, this has been one of my favorite uh, conferences to uh, you know, learn and attend at. I know the same for Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Uh, we have such a great mix of workshops, technical, cultural talks, and speakers from all over the world, many different companies. And my favorite, the hallway track. The hallway track. So uh, one thing that you may all find useful and helpful is Wi-Fi. I love Wi-Fi. It's pretty good. It is. Um, so this is the Wi-Fi network, Usenix build, password LISA2019, all caps. Uh, we want to give a special thanks to the build team who put this all together. Yep. Hands together, please. Uh, for those of you, for those of back. you who might not know, the build team comes here slightly early, uh, like a few days early, and gets the entire conference Wi-Fi network infrastructure working, going, doing all the things. Uh, it's very, very cool. It was also uh, the first time that I really sat in and watched, and it's super impressive to watch a group of people who have never worked together come together, design a network, put it in place in less than probably nine hours yesterday. So um, really, really hats off to those folks who yes. did this. So. Uh, we, we filled out all the paperwork to get a hashtag on Twitter. So, uh, you know, if you want to tag your talks, uh, you can use the uh, Lisa19 hashtag. Stay connected. There's also Slack. Um, so the Slack URL there, uh, yep. usenic.org, Lisa, Slack. It's a, um, it's a pretty fun place to hang out, uh, chat, say hello to folks. Ask questions. Everybody's there to help. Absolutely. Uh, one super important thing that um, I would love to, to chat about is the code of conduct, right? So Usenix is committed to providing a safe and enjoyable event experience for all event participants, right? Um, this is super important to us. Um, a conference is the collection of everybody's great experiences together. Um, and if there is somebody that is uh, making that experience less than positive, we, we want to know about it and we take it very, very, very seriously. If you witness, if you see something that violates our code of conduct, find someone with a Usenic black t-shirt on. Raise your hands real quick if you're in the room with a Usenic. Look around, see who they are. This is super duper serious for us, okay? And then if you actually cannot find someone, there's a phone number up here. Write it down. Give a call. We won't tolerate any of this, yep. any harassment. This is a safe environment where we all want to learn, come together as a community, share, leave, share that knowledge in a safe, endearing way, please. So this conference wouldn't be what it is without um, a lot of things, but one of those things is sponsors, exhi exhibitors, and uh, vendors that are hosting BOFs. Um, so want to go ahead and uh, acknowledge our gold sponsors, uh, Cambridge Computing, Facebook, Red Hat, um, and our silver sponsors, Bloomberg, uh, Google, Gremlin, and Microsoft Azure. Yep, and they're not it. There's a couple more. So. Our bronze sponsors, as well as our industry partners and media uh, sponsors, they also help make this possible as well. Also, we have diversity grants, um, and we have five companies that um, helped sponsor that, um, that initiative. That's super important to us as well. I think one of the challenges that I'd like to throw out there that we were talking about last night when, you know, because we have had these slides ready for weeks. Right. Um, weeks. Weeks. If you define weeks by, you know, days, but that's cool. That's <laughs> or cool. hours. But in all seriousness, take a look at this list. It's small. Go back to your company. Think about how your companies can actually help in other Usenix conferences to actually help with diversity grants. They're super important to give people who actually don't have a company or don't have the means to show up and experience what you experience. And this is one way in which you can actually do that. Go back, ask. What's the worst that happens? They say no, but at least you tried. Important. But there, wait, there's more. There is? Yep. OK. So uh, this conference was also uh, put together by an amazing group of folks um, that worked with us to pick the talks, read the talks, select the talks, um, talk the talks in some cases. Uh, so you know, we really want to thank our entire program committee. If you're here, could you stand up? Please. Stand up. Come on, don't be shy. Don't be shy. There you go. I know there's more. It's there's OK. There's a lot more. 
This round of applause is for you. Hours and hours spent, but the program committee wasn't the only ones who helped us out. Love to give a special thanks to Amy Rich and Carolyn Rollin for keeping us on track and making sure that Pat and I don't do anything yeah, silly. Yeah, actually, that was the most, that was a pretty important part, too. So, Carolyn, Amy, stand up. I'd love to embarrass you a little. There we go. <laughs> Let's not of, forget some other people. Yeah, you know, one of the really awesome parts about organizing this conference is, um, and I've organized a few other conferences that I've had to do everything for. Yep. Uh, one of the really amazing parts is uh, working with Usenix to put this all together. They do so much for us um, as far as getting the hotels booked, getting the programs out there, updating the web, like maintaining the website. Hotel, oh, all yeah. of the back end stuff that none of you see from the process of the CFP to all of the problems we have. They're amazing, <laughs> amazing individuals. So uh, we just want to give a uh, warm uh, thank you to the using staff and board um, for making this all possible because it wouldn't happen without them. Nope. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, there's a little bit more, yeah, I promise. A little bit more. Um, in addition to all the great speakers that you see, and all of the workshops, and all of the learning in the hallway track, we also have birds of a feather. You can host your own birds of a feather. Um, if you have an interesting technical problem that you don't know exactly how to solve, or you're curious how someone else here has solved, host a birds of a feather. Keep it on the, uh, the technical side or the cultural side, obviously. Yeah, no personal problems. No. Nope. Uh, just, uh, just put a little um, you know, note on the board that's like, hey, I really want to find out how to do X with Y. See if you can get in. People can just show up. You can lead a discussion. And if it lasts for five minutes and you get what you need out of it, great. If it lasts longer, that's also great, too. That's awesome, too. And then there's oh. an event Tuesday. Yeah, it, I heard about that. Yeah, this is, I, I love this event. Uh, so lightning talks. Um, Fatima and uh, Jonah have been putting these together for a little while now, and so there may be karaoke lightning. Yeah, there may talks. there may be a slide karaoke yeah. as well. So um, get excited! Stop by lightning talks yeah. on Tuesday night. It's going to be a great time. If you don't know what it is, you can come see me embarrass myself even more. Yep, and fun. me too, probably. Me too. Uh, there's there's an expo uh, while we're here. Um, so all of our vendors are going to be down there uh, Monday and Tuesday. I'm um, in the exhibit hall. I believe it's an L2. It is. It's downstairs. Yep. yep. Um, there is a, there's, we're, once again, we're doing the whole passport raffle thing. So what this means is if you go to every vendor's booth and, and they stamp it, uh, you could be in the running to win great prizes like a conference pass next year, an Apple iPad 6, 128 gigabytes, a Nintendo Switch Lite, a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B, or a Lego architecture shelf of the timeless New York City. Or in Portland. <laughs> so um, we, haven't, uh, we haven't really started the event, but we want to let you know about events that are coming next. Yes. Uh, so we have uh, three SRE cons. Um, we're talking about SRE cons because, you know, they're, they're, there's some overlap. There's some, there is. There's some, uh, you know, compatibility there. There's, a, um, there's a, definitely some, an area where we all intermingle. Yes, yeah, yeah. So um, keep track of these uh, three conferences coming up. But uh, there might be, uh, you might be interested in going to Lisa and finding out about SRECon, and you can do that next year. Yes. How many people have actually been to an SRECon? Cool. 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 I think yours. First one was last year. Yeah, I, uh, this yeah. March actually, yeah. I um, checked it out. It was really uh, kind of an interesting. It was kind of some of this content, some of like SRE content, but there's they're related. So if you've ever wondered how you would ever get to an SRE con because your employer, or perhaps you only like Lisa, um, this is a great way of actually taking a look at both sets of content, being able to walk between the two, being able to see and, and get a taste of both. So that will be next year in Boston. Yeah, it's in December. It's beautiful in December as Bring a hat. Boston native. Bring uh, a coat. No, no, don't laugh. Don't Bring laugh. hand warmers. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be beautiful. Bring a hat. It'll be cool. <laughs> Chemical hand warmers are available. It'll yeah, be fine. sure. Well, are we doing hand warmers? Yeah. It's not our. Yeah. Maybe, we'll see. Who knows? You never know. Uh, before I uh, mention the opening remarks, uh, I was uh, informed this morning that uh, there was a little bit of an issue with the Portland water. So if you're immunocompromised, you probably want to uh, not go for tap water, but the hotel water should be fine. But just be aware of that. Um, so thank you. With that. <laughs> that was... <laughs> 
You know, like, where, where, where do you? I don't know where we go with that. Where do you like? I There's only one way we can go, and that's yeah. directly into the keynotes. That's right. Like, that's right. No, it's super, go. but it is super important. It and, is. It is. You know, so, excellent. Um, so, our first keynote is uh, the Container Operator's Manual. As somebody who has used a container maybe once or twice, I definitely wish I had a book for it. Um, and and that will be by Alice Goldfuss. Everybody give a warm welcome, round of applause to Alice. 